Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Monday, November 28th, 2022. And we begin with the Orion capsule not only shattering a record once held by Apollo 13, but adding to it. Sometime today, the spacecraft will be about 272,515 miles away from Earth, the farthest any ship designed to carry humans has ventured. Orion is also now at the halfway point of its 26-day mission to orbit the moon and test out its systems and safety features for the next flight. When real astronauts replace Commander Munikin and his crew of two space mannequins. When the capsule re-enters Earth's atmosphere on December 11th, it'll be traveling at 25,000 miles an hour, sending the temperature of its heat shield up to about 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Splashdown will be in the Pacific Ocean, just off the coast of San Diego, California. For most Americans, getting home from grandma's house wasn't as easy as it was getting there. The Sunday after Thanksgiving is notoriously one of the busiest, if not the busiest, travel day of the year, and a big storm in the Midwest made a mess of it. According to Flight Aware, nearly 5,000 flights were delayed and around 100 canceled. Still, for the most part, it was a better flying experience than it's been recently. Post-pandemic staffing is up, and so is customer service, especially on a recent Southwest flight out of Long Beach, California. A passenger had left his phone in the boarding area, and it wasn't noticed until the flight pushed back for takeoff. Gate agents got the plane to stop, and as pictures prove, the pilot leaned out his little cockpit window while a tarmac worker jumped up for a most unlikely runway handoff. Cheers broke out, and the photo has since gone viral. It was a long holiday weekend of shop till you drop, and it's not over yet. Today is Cyber Monday, which retail analysts predict will be the biggest online shopping day of the year. Cyber Monday follows Small Business Saturday, which celebrated the country's mom-and-pop shops, and before that, all the big store doorbuster deals of Black Friday. Early estimates point toward a new record for holiday spending, but that doesn't yet take into account the higher prices we all paid due to inflation. Tomorrow, Americans will not only be opening their wallets, but their hearts. It's Giving Tuesday, or as we at Kid News like to call it, Giving News Day, a day dedicated to all the nonprofits that make the world a better place. Kid News is one of them, and we hope we make your short list for missions that are important to you. Thank you in advance for your support. She's living a dream that started in the eighth grade. Olivia Pichardo is now the first female athlete to make a Division I baseball roster. The freshman will be suiting up for Brown University as a utility player, meaning she can cover positions in both the infield and the outfield. The Rhode Island University celebrated her achievement in a press release, saying that Pichardo's dogged determination got her through all the tryouts, training, and practices. In all, at least eight women in the U.S. will play on collegiate baseball teams in 2023, but only one, Olivia, at the D1 level. About all the females taking the field next season, Olivia told reporters, it's paving the way for girls in the next generation to also have these goals that they want to achieve and dream big and know that they can do it. There's zero chance this goldfish fits in a bowl. Any bowl. Carrot is his name, and ever since he was put in Blue Water Lakes in Champaign, France, as a little gupper 20 years ago, he has eluded fishermen. He got bigger and brighter, and still no one could land him until last week. Andy Hackett carefully reeled in the 67-pound oversized orange beauty, posed for a few pictures, then released him back into the water in what a fisheries manager says is excellent health and condition. Carrot is a goldfish hybrid, a mashup of a leather carp and a koi carp, and is believed to be among the biggest, if not the biggest, of its kind ever caught. That's it for Kid News. Now, today's Kid News Quiz. Sometime today, Orion will be how far from Earth? About 272,515 miles. Today, the Monday after Thanksgiving, is known as what? Cyber Monday. Brown University's Olivia Pichardo is the first female athlete to make what roster? A 
a Division I collegiate baseball team. How much does Carrot the hybrid goldfish weigh? Sixty-seven pounds. In today's kid news kicker, a famous sneakerhead is opening his closet full of kicks to fans. DJ Khaled teamed up with Airbnb to allow fellow sneaker aficionados to spend a night surrounded by 10,000 pair of his most prized footwear. Guests will also have access to his pool and outdoor lounge. Mr. Khaled is offering only two one-night stays for $11 per night, an amount chosen because that's also his shoe size. Bookings open up on Airbnb tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Time to shout out our teachers, starting with Ms. Pringle and her Hawks at Wahitas Elementary School in Othello, Washington. Homeschooling mom Tiffany Hector in Sacramento, California. Mrs. Stoll at Brook Middle School in Wellsburg, West Virginia. Mrs. Blankers and her fabulous fourth graders at Hellgate Elementary in Missoula, Montana. And Miss Celia and her Lions at Lions Park in Mount Prospect, Illinois. Thanks for listening, everyone. A reminder that tomorrow is Giving Tuesday, and we hope Kid News comes to mind when you're making your donations. Thank you for your generosity, and we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.